If you want to protect your valuables on the road, you should get this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I bought this Horusti lockbox. I am probably not saying that name right, but uh, I apologize to Mr. Horusti, who spent his whole life making a security company to protect our valuables, and I can't get his name pronounced right. But basically, this lockbox with combination lock is also a portable travel safe. Now, it has a sidearm on there, and I am sure you could use it for that, but I am also sure that you don't have to use it for that. And for a lot of us, we have valuables at home. You know, everything from, hey, the title to your car, your marriage certificate, your birth certificate, your social security card, whatever it may be, we have things that we are trying to protect. You know, loose cash, that type of stuff. Maybe your um, favorite heritage Star Trek collectibles and, uh, you know, the Gates McFadden ones, Dr. Beverly Crusher. You know, you want to make sure that that stuff is safe and out of, you know, prying eyes. And so I picked this up and it actually is good for travel too. I'll show you that in a minute here with the cable, but I want to show you the whole operation. First of all, this thing has some serious weight to it. So while it is like a sheet metal case, I think this is a little bit more robust than a lot of the other kind of cheaper home safes. You know, I know it's kind of listed as a safe, portable safe, but I, I kind of am reluctant to use that. It's more of a lockbox because I definitely think someone, you know, that was really eager could get into one of these and or damage this or something like that, you know, and cut it open with an angle grinder. That's probably not going to be a problem, but it means that even someone with some simple tools are probably going to have a tougher time with this. You can see the piano hinge on this side. Like I said, I think this is just powder coated, but it's got some pretty good weight. So I think if you were to take a hammer to this, take some tools to it, you would probably find yourself frustrated pretty easily. Now, I want to show you outside dimensions because maybe you're going to hide this somewhere and you need to know it does it fit inside a book. Is it going to fit inside of a drawer or concealment device? It's basically nine and a half inches long. It is six and a half inches wide and deep here it is one and three quarter inches so interior dimensions will be a little bit smaller and some curved edges here you do have this little interesting latch this is pretty standard for combination locks you have a three digit combination kind of like on an old school bike lock and uh, i'm going to rotate it like this so now the latch is holding this closed so this won't fall open and what you do is you put in your combination turn this to move the latch and now i can lift this open right so you can see the latch right there all right now you could probably say well zero 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 is not going to work for me might work for you maybe that's your birthday it's your birthday but to reprogram this latch all you're going to do is take this little pin here push it in and push it up and lock it in this b position so you're going to go from that standard a position to the b position so i'm going to lock it up right there and now what i'm going to do is go ahead and set a new code in this case 100 right and now i'm going to just push this back it'll kind of want to return to that a position and now this is the code that's going to allow this to move freely right so let me just lock it here and move it back to zero 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 now if i try to turn this nope no dice can't get in but if i know your code is 100 oh boom look at that open it up all right so it's easy to change it just like that no key nothing else i actually like these mechanical locks a lot because it doesn't rely on a biometric it doesn't rely on a battery you know if you lose power or if your finger is injured and you can't get your fingerprint read you know there's just a lot of things i don't like about the electronics i like the mechanical stuff and it's just a little bit of peace of mind now you can see that they are both foam lined sides here so if you do put something in here this is a squirt gun but it's probably the size of a pocket 380 you've got a lot of space here and it should clamp it down so you don't have things rattling around too much right you know, if you had something in there that was metal, it would probably make a lot of noise. So what you do is you have some of this foam, so you could definitely load this thing up. Interior dimensions, let's take a look at that. I would say you want your stuff to be, oh, no wider than six inches. Looks like this latch is going to take up some space here. No longer than eight and a half inches. And probably an inch and a half or less in thickness. So that means you could put a lot of stuff in here. Now, what I also want to show you here is that we have this little cutout, and that is for this cable. And so you could actually lock this down, kind of like a locking cable on a laptop. You know, you lock it to your desk. And what you would do here is you would lock it around under your seat or something like that, and then you put the cable in here. Now, you actually don't need to lock this other side in the same way that you might think. You can just run this through. So let's say I had, you know, 
something that I was wanted to lock in my car. I could run this around the seat rail, just like this. So it's a nice loop. So now it's on there kind of permanently, like around a tree or something like that, just for giggles. And then you just put the cable right in here like this. And now what you have is this, I don't know, this metal weight basically is going to lock it inside the lock box. So now once it's locked up, you can't pull it out. Again, safe, yeah. Yeah, like I said, hate using that term because someone bolt cutters could probably cut this off. Again, you could probably jimmy this open eventually, but you know what it does is it provides a lot more security than just putting something out of the way, putting something out of view, and, you know, just hiding your bag underneath your seat. This is obviously going to be a lot harder to actually steal from or steal from your car or your home. You know, you could lock this around, you know, a stud in the wall, right? But then if you want to do that, it's also going to be hard to break in here. So this lockbox from Horusty is not expensive. It's not dirt cheap either, but it's not expensive. And you can put some of those valuable things in there and have a little bit of peace of mind that someone who stumbles across it isn't just going to be like, what's in here, huh? You know, you have your own little treasures box, your own little music box from your childhood that you just hide your valuables in those those pearl earrings or whatever and someone stumbles on them and it's like ooh, and then gets a little sticky fingered right this is just going to provide that protection that even if someone finds it and is curious they'll be like ah drat foiled again hey if you want to pick up this rusty lockbox i'll put a link to it in the description below peter von panda out